started. I am also a layman in the legal. But if you see what is happening in our country, it's quite contrary to what's supposed to be done. If you look actually in the way things are, I, like my brother, I can ask him now. You say a crop impeachment. You have been impeached. How do you undo impeachment? Impeachment to an impeached. It's a technical kind of substance which can actually, even if they sit in the courts, it's not all that good. What I would like actually to be done, they respect the media. And also this information which is being given to the Gen Z's who were abducted, who were killed innocently. The Adani case, in the way it has been said yesterday, the banding of the, the, the university money. The, actually, the whole issue in the way this, when you talk about Makanga and the driver, should go together. If I was brother regarding the child was honorable, he was not to go about it actually going to hide in the hospital. He was not to go it actually bring it to the, uh, to the judiciary. He was to go to the people. He was to resign, go to the people and say, a done a case, abduction, eviction, and these are the issues. When I stand here actually and seeing things which the way they are moving, in the way my brother said, people have written mandasi. Even actually when you see our lawyers here, I'm not a lawyer. They are just taking things which are not there. They are taking actually the 50 million people for granted, which is not very good. Right. And when you look into the law, it is actually very fragile. You can't actually say, but the constitution of Kenya 2010 is under question and actually to assist the people of Kenya. So like now, the last government, if I can recall, my, I come from Giz Islands, Nyamira County. My brother, Frederick Okengo Matiangi, was the president and he was the deputy president. As they were running up and down, President Uru Mwegai and uh, Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Right now, the person who is in the government, Dr. Randall, is a small spoken person, Pro Professor Kiture Kindiki, because he's actually the CS of internal security. So Kenya has got no fact, there's no vacuum for actually that this one will happen, this will not happen. Even also, this gentleman is given presidents, can he not govern? Even that gentleman can govern. It's not a must that you give it to somebody. I like this Gen who says that they don't have a tribe. But actually let God decide prevailing this issue. And actually we get a country which is learning and let them, the majority who are suffering also feel the cake of Kenya. Let not the people who are in just me actually have gotten people running up and down saying actually me I have not been actually handled in such a way. Just in the corridors here. Yesterday I was here. The previous day I was here. And what I'm seeing going on around. Let us not actually just apply ourselves that actually this is what is there. But what is there, let's talk about the constitution. In the way the judges who actually govern today said actually that it was correct, it was done, and that's why the way we are. May I guess if I was to ask, the judges who are handling the case today, who constituted if Madam Kaome Mata is not around, Mata Kaome decided to run away from Kenya because he knew she comes from central, she comes from the other side, and she has to leave the place vacant. And actually now the debut does to take the office in the way it is according to the constitution. So I cannot see anything which is wrong there. Let us talk because you talk, talk and go like the frogs which actually make a lot of crawling in the water. The cow comes, drinks water and it goes and the morning, the morning, morning it comes there. That's all. Kenya is a constituted country. Kenya is sovereign. Kenya is a love, peace loving country. We want these people to come down and swallow their pride to allow the Kenyans live a decent life. That's what, the, what I can say. Right. Don't misquote me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think you guys... Me is uh, Kimoto Teresia Wanjiro from TES Kimoto and Company Advocates, one of the advocates for the petitioners. So today we had come in for a ruling where the judge, the, the petitioners were challenging the impanelment of the judge, the judges by the CJ. However, that ruling has been dismissed uh, because uh, the court has ruled that the judge ha had, uh, the deputy chief justice had properly constituted the bench. So parties have a right to appeal. However, we have been told to come tomorrow at 9 a.m. whereby there will be the issue of consolidation of other petitions that are similar and therefore we are hoping that uh, parties are going to have their say so that the, all the files are consolidated. There will also be a, a hearing at 2.30 p.m. where now parties, because there are some applications that were raised, 
regarding recusal of the bench because there are applicants who feel that the bench is not fair or has acted in a way that it's not impartial. Therefore, that application is going to be heard at 2.30 p.m. And all parties have been directed to file their responses. And the issue of service, the court has been very clear on it. Parties go to the e-filing portal and get all the documents required and file their replying affidavits for hearing, ready for hearing at 2.30 p.m. So we are hopeful that uh, the application is going to be heard and uh, a ruling delivered so that we are able to go to the substantive issue, which is the petition. So far, it has to be noted, we've not dealt with the petition and the conservatory orders are still in place. So until those preliminary issues are sorted, then we still haven't started yet. But they are important because the law provides that each petitioner or applicant is satisfied before the process has commenced. So therefore, we'll still come back here tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But any party, the, the law is very clear. If you're dissatisfied with a ruling, you have 14 days. You can rush to the Court of Appeal where you seek redress there. So there are some parties who have expressed wishes that they are going to appeal. As for us, we are going to consult our clients so that they can give us the way forward. If it's an appeal, then we have to move to the Court of Appeal regarding that ruling. But for now, the petitioners, not all petitioners have been able to see a copy of the ruling which we have requested. And so we are hoping that we are able to see it today so that we are able to get uh, proper instructions on whether to appeal or to proceed with the court. Yes, that's it. Okay, that's all. Mm -hmm. Do you have something to say? Ah, uh, no, nekusubiri to. Yes. Tulani kesho saa tatu, tufatilie. Sante komdewe. I had just wanted to highlight the content of the notice. I think we have made it uh, very clear in the ruling which was just delivered that the matters before this court are very important to the people of this republic. And you will appreciate that uh, petitions are still being filed throughout Kenya. When we retired yesterday, we received several abandonment uh, of matters which, of which we gave this notice. Therefore, don't think you are the only person who are in these positions. There are also other Kenyans who are coming day in, night out. So the matters which you've set out for mention are the matters in which we have been impaneled as from yesterday. So you wait for court to give directions, then you start talking. You cannot just start talking from the air without facts. Let us mention these facts first, then from there, you see the directions emerging, and then you can make your prayers. Let's mention these five first. Okay. 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 Okay.